Hello, so now we're in the K11 Museum and we got off at East Timsha Tsui Station and malaki yung place so you could go around and sobrang classy rin yung CR meron siya yung mirror tapos may lights parang yung mga artists pa ganon and also had a quick break on their food hall we're now in the washroom area and the mirrors are so cool it's like the celebrity mirrors just walking and strolling around the mall, you'll notice the beautiful interiors around. And in their elevator, in case you're missing out where the buttons are, it's located here in the book. And to the right, there's a restaurant hidden here. Let's go check it out. And after the post, there's a door going outside. And there's a mini garden outside. Today for breakfast, we went to Bluebird Coffee and I had muffin and the muffin was big and the blueberries, real blueberry siya. It was masiksik and moist. Tapos, for after that, we went to Art Lane. So yung Art Lane, you could take photos there. It's just near our hotel actually, walkable lang. Tapos yung Manmo Temple, so it's a very old temple and famous one. There's this glass globe in the middle of K11 Musea and just below there's a open space restaurant. A cute robot and lots of luxury brands like Balenciaga, Gucci, Cartier and many more. Of course, all we could do is just window shopping. And this is Victoria Harbor just outside K11 Musea. So we're going to wait for the bus to go to Big House. Ayun, walang traffic sa Hong Kong. More on stop light up so. so you could take different bus buses. So we got this 26 bus. Using this Bluetooth mic and sobrang noise cancelling niya. So late ko na siya nagamit. I'll link it down below. So okay siya for vlogging kasi Especially pag maingay yung background, ayan. Passed by Giordano, so pumasok na rin kami to check out what deals we have here. So if you guys want cheap shopping, pwede kayo sa Mong Kok area, then sa Sneaker Street for the shoes. So if hindi kayo nakabili sa outlet, don't you worry. Don't you worry kasi pwede kayo bumili sa Sneaker Street ng shoes. So yung ibang designs kasi sa outlet, wala sa ano... Uh, parang luma na daw kasi ayun. So if you want latest styles, mas madami sa sneaker street. Then may nakita kong shop sa um, Langham. Mas mura siya yung marathon sa level 7. Here is 24399 yung naka-sale niya. But if you reach 700, may 100 rebate or 12 may 200 rebate. So medyo pricey pa rin siya. Their egg darts are sold out now, so the binnering kasi mga magi 8 pm na. So let's try other pastries. So I think it's preferable to come in the morning so that you could avail the egg darts kasi nag sold out apparently. These are the available pastries. I heard that you could reserve the egg tarts, but after three days, mo pa daw siya makukuha. Wasn't able to try their egg tarts. Maybe try natin the next morning. Now we're going to have our dinner at Duck Victoria. So, medyo pricey siya, but let's try it. So, minsan lang naman tayo na sa Hong Kong, di ba? Sayang talaga hindi natin na-try yung egg tarts ng Big House. So, dapat early kayo para matry nyo. So, available siya for walk-in. Pero yung reservation, for 3 days pa siya bago nyo mak makukuha. Here's Doc Victoria. Let's go check it out. Hello. 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 Hello
ganun pala. Ang kulit. So, the robot will be... So, the robot is our guide to our table. Ang cool, di ba? So, ayan, sundan lang natin siya. So, here's our table, I think. So, pasok. Ayan. Scan and order on your mobile. Let's browse through their menu. They also have other main dish aside from duck. We have fish, some cold dishes. They also have dessert, recommendations. And here are the steps on how to best enjoy the pecking duck. We ordered two dog meat fried rice. I think this 152 HKD. Here comes our main highlight. This is, I think, a whole roast dog. Comes with cucumber, onion, and hoisin sauce. Let's get ready to dig in. The whole dog costs 380 HKD. And it costs us around 150 HKD each, so around 1,000 pesos. Wrapping the pecking duck in the wrapper. Put some hoisin sauce for that umami flavor. Duck Victoria also has an alfresco area where you could enjoy the night view of Hong Kong. And that ends our night, so apparently nalubat yung mic ko and the food is great, pricey lang siya. So if you want Michelin, I prefer you go to Yatlok, pero ano siya, roasted goose naman siya. And that's a wrap for the day and tomorrow we're going to the happiest place on earth which is Hong Kong Disneyland. I'll be sharing the rides that you must not miss. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe and stay tuned to more of my travel vlogs.